hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we will see how to implement dark mode and light mode function in our application just like that see this is the any desktop website you can see here the light mode and dark mode functionality you can see so let's try to implement this kind of functionality same as not like same as it but just like that okay so for that we have to implement add the some color for it so just like a background dark background color and light background color so let's add the one QML file for it. Uh, set the uh, app theme, okay? And finish. Now file is successfully added. So open that file and just uh, change the Qt object, okay? Here we have to define the uh, some colors for it. So now let's create the one property color and set the name for a background color. So let's assign the default value of our uh, background color, uh, just like a uh, white. Okay, this just this is for the light thing. Okay, light background and here we have to define the function set light thing. Okay. and function for dark theme so when we call the dark theme function we have to change the color property color value here so for uh, dark color you can select the uh, i think this is one is this one is good color for the dark so here you can set the dark color and now let's uh, for the uh, light theme just simply set the uh, white color okay now let's add the some text color property so when we create the text color so default text color value should be uh, this dark color and when we uh, create the light theme so set the uh, dark color for text and for the uh, dark theme, set the uh, color white. Okay. Now let's uh, implement in our main QML. So import this first of all, Qt Quick Control. Also import the Qt Quick Layouts. Okay. Now let's import that the app theme, app theme QML file in our application. So just like that. Now let's create the uh, one object, create uh, like a component. Okay. So let's create the component, com create the component of our I, uh, app theme, and just uh, write the uh, app theme okay this is our uh, one object of our app theme applica class okay now let's uh, define the default uh, theme so component dot on complete so when our application was loaded so just call the uh, set light theme okay also set the uh, title of our application so dark mode and light mode okay now let's add the uh, one text control in our application but before the text control we create a one rectangle and add the uh, some control inside the rectangle okay so this is our main rectangle so let's set the width according to parent and height and height is also parent dot height okay now let's set the uh, color so here we define the uh, color so our background color app theme dot background color okay so whatever background color was set it is this will automatically apply in our uh, rectangle now let's create the uh, text but uh, before the text let's create the uh, one column layout and in set the text inside the uh, column layout set the id my text Thank you. 
28k ten okay so now here we have to state the uh, color of our so f thing dot text color okay you can also set the uh, some point size let's set the uh, 15 or 20 whatever okay now let's create the one switch control to switch the uh, dark mode between the dark mode and light mode so first of all here we have to set the id my theme switch okay now let's change the uh, name switch okay now here we have to uh, set a uh, text uh, default mode is the uh, light mode so I set the light mode and uh, set the anchor anchor dot top so parent dot top okay default property was checked as a uh, false okay and we have to set the anchor horizontal horizontal center so parent dot horizontal center okay also here we have to uh, set the uh, create the uh, event so on check change event okay so if switch is on check equal to as a true so here we have to set the uh, continue in the light mode so call the app thing dot dark mode set dark theme okay and uh, text set change the text of our switch text property just copy light from here and paste here dark mode else copy and change here light mode okay and call the light mode function so all the component colors are automatically applied on the our uh, application and now let's let's first of all set the anchor property here anchor dot center parent okay you can also set the layout dot preferred preferred width uh, 200 and layout preferred height is also set the uh, 100 and change the alignment layout dot alignment is align align at center qt dot align at center okay now let's run the application and check it so you can see that this is a dark mode and this is a light mode also we, we have to do some work about this switch also so now let's work on the switch here we have to uh, change the uh, text property of our switch so content item of text so text is a theme switch uh, text is a light mode okay indirectly at dot text okay and also we have to set the uh, text color of our theme switch text color sorry here we have to use a f theme dot text color okay also here we have to set the vertical alignment and uh, horizontal alignment so text dot 
a line a line we sent okay or also here you have to set the left padding so left padding is echo ending to our theme switch so theme switch dot uh, indicator dot width plus our text or spacing dot spacing okay now let's run the application and check it so you can see our uh, property was also applied in our switch control also let's take the of some font color font size font dot point size uh, 15 and let's run the application and check it so you can see now let's add the one more control in our application so now let's add the one button control so let's set the first of all layout prefer height and width also here and now let's add the uh, first of all add the id so my button okay now let's take the uh, okay now here we have to define the uh, both color for our button control so now let's define the color property color for button text color and next property is property color for button background color so i think background color it would be a great uh, this color is background color is good for default color and text color is uh, white may be good so here we have to define the default value here also set light theme so text color is by default white and background color is just like this you can add your multiple colors for as per your requirement and for the dark mode just reverse the color okay now use this color in our application means uml5 so now let's use the text so use the text property inside the text element of the button or also set the color so app theme dot button text color okay anchor of fill parent and set the uh, some alignment of the uh, text so horizontal horizontal alignment is a center align at center and for the vertical you can use the uh, vertical alignment align v center now set the uh, background property also so background dot background color dot rectangle so you can set the uh, background color here theme dot button background color also set the some radius here so let's set the radius 20 and now let's run the application and check it so you can see this is the light mode dark mode uh, dark mode and this is the la dark mode and this is the light mode so here we have to also set the text here change this width 
check the function if check box uh, quit is check then set get dark mode otherwise set here light mode okay and now remove this line from here and now let's run the application and check it so you can see dark mode and light mode actor are also updated here and according in case a uh, dark mode and light mode theme the color values also change so you can see so by this way you can easily implement your dark mode and light mode theme in your application or make a multiple theme application in your application and by just simply you have to define the uh, uh, individual color of your elements or controls for it and just in use this use that like use like that and please drop in a comment if you have any questions and please share this video with your friend and subscribe me subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you